So I just want to make a small video about a really impressive new photo editing program that I found yesterday when I went on to the uh, Apple App Store. And uh, it was an editor's pick. It was called Affinity Photo. It was uh, relatively cheap, so I looked at the feature set. And one of the big uh, features that it was pushing was its speed. It's a dedicated program to uh, Mac, to Apple operating system. And uh, so I decided to put that to the test because I thought there's no possible way that it can be that much faster. I mean, Photoshop, I uh, have CS6. It's got all the top uh, developers and designers. Surely they have that all worked out. But uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show a... Uh, a layered map that I've been working on and what I'm working what uh, my machine is is a MacBook Air just the very bottom end and uh, um, with the Haswell processor and I was really getting frustrated because uh, mind you it's a huge file way bigger than it should be for Photoshop uh, just about 600 megabytes uh, close the file on the desktop with uh, thousands of um, of uh, stroked uh, objects within the the, light, the streets that uh, I had made, and um, so it was uh, as the objects were getting layers were getting built up, it was just moving to a crawl and would it take forever just to do simple little things, and uh, I wondered if my machine was just way too underpowered. I knew the file was big, but uh, I was left in a quandary. So. It's interesting then when I opened up both, uh, this is the, there's Photoshop, we have Affinity Photo, the same, uh, the same map PD, PSD file opened up inside there. Now, immediately, just for zooming in, zooming out, I saw the choppiness. So I'm doing this all in live time so it can be seen, uh, the difference. So zooming in and out on Photoshop and then um, if I go over to Affinity the zooming in and out is just instantaneous it's just remarkable the difference oh and there's another feature that I really love and I'm sure I can set it up in Photoshop but I don't have it I can drag around and it's all treated as one object one la all the layers uh, they don't mo move independently unless I click on the little move arrow there and so that's really handy whereas in Photoshop the way that I have it set up anyway if I drag this top layer what I end up with is moving strictly that layer the one that's selected so that's uh, to start with okay nice choppiness there where I got into big problems was when I was trying to work with layers the different layers uh, isolate them turn them off and on so I'm just going to go into uh, the same type of area here on both applications. You can just see the moving is just phenomenally easier. Um, in Photoshop, if I'm to just open, let's say street layers, so this is all the black layers. Uh, well, if, if I'm to turn off, I've, I've made a yellow inner uh, copied it with the inner stroke on it. So if I can turn that off, we'll see how long it takes for it to turn off. I'll just leave this in real time and you'll see all the yellow disappear. So seconds are going by, seconds, seconds. And by the way, opening up the file, the uh, whole file took roughly the same on both, maybe a tad longer in Photoshop, a good half minute or so, so it took quite a while there. It's off. So I'll go to the black layers here if I can select it I've selected it you can see it's still on graphic elements so it'll take a few minutes to flip over to street layers which are the actual black streets black outline streets there it is and I'm not going to show you uh, the objects inside in Photoshop because it'll just bog it down as a matter of fact, just doing simple things like this has crashed uh, the MacBook on different occasions. So I'll go over to the other program and we'll just remember how long it took to turn off and on the yellow street layers, which is about 16 or 1700 uh, layers within that objects within it. So um, there, I'm just going to wait till that comes back on. And then the slow drawing. 
as it comes in. There we are. So we'll go over to Affinity Photo now. And I'll take those same layers and I'm going to turn off the yellow set. Boom. Instantaneous. It's incredible the difference. Turn off the black layered set, yellow layered set. Absolutely no hesitation whatsoever. Um, I'll just open up uh, this group. You can see the number of layers. So this is the black uh, outlined roads. Their shape uh, 1638. It just goes all the way down. So these were all objects within Photoshop and I realize Photoshop isn't designed for that type of uh, an application but it's uh, working here within Affinity Photo. So uh, one thing, I'm just going to turn these off for a second and move around. I'm going to turn off these street layers. Another thing that uh, actually I'm going to go back to Photoshop, turn it off. The other thing is, is as it's working on whatever it's doing, it's totally hung up. Nothing can happen. So I'm going to shut off both of these, uh, which one at a time. This is really frustrating. Really, really. See, I can go back. I'll let that uh, work away. I'm going to go back to what I want to do here. So I'm just going to back off. So I've started creating all these uh, landmark objects. Oh, there it came on. <laughs> just overtakes my whole computer. There's the black all gone. Now for the yellow uh, objects, which I'm just using for the specific purpose that I have in mind. Let's see if I can get back to the other program now. So I'm using, uh, I believe this is called landmarks. Yep. So I started drawing these landmarks. So I was curious then putting um, effects, which I've done in Photoshop, and it was took quite a while for me to do. So, for instance, I just uh, was taking these drawings, which were all on a layer, and applying a, a bevel and emboss. And I better put that on the right uh, layer. <laughs> I don't want it there. I want it on landmarks. So, bevel and emboss. Here we go, right there. Instantaneous. I'll just crank up the radius so you can see what's going on which I use for kind of an interesting effect. I can add a, a overlay over it, whatever. I don't want that. So I'll turn the street layers back on now. Let's get used to the situation there. So that's an effect that I like to use. Now if I go back to Photoshop, we're missing there. We've got all the street layers out. I'm trying to zoom in here. There we go. Okay, it's not dragging over, hanging up, hanging up. And I'm going to take that same landmarks layer. Now, I do have both of these running at the same time, but I mean, still Affinity Photos running. This one isn't. Um, but it's the same speed whether I have another program running or not. So I'm going to apply effects. I'm going to do that same bevel and emboss. And it's not too bad. It came up okay. So that isn't an effect that, that really affects it severely, affects the speed severely. I'll turn these back on. It'll obviously run through all the objects forever. So anyway, this is giving you a real good idea of uh, the speed difference. So, I mean, this is an extreme case, but if it wasn't, um, if it's just a normal job, I'm sure there has to be something working faster. They seem to really have it optimized uh, within Photoshop. So I'm quite impressed. There's a few other features that I really like about it that uh, I'll maybe post about later.